everybody, this is Connie, and um, I stopped and got some lunch. My mom gave me a little bit of money yesterday. I, I'll, I'll tell you about my whole day, but I stopped and got some lunch, and I thought I would do a mukbang for you because I wanted to visit with you anyway. So what I got was a Frisco burger. I went stopped at Hardee's, if you know what that is. Um, I got a Frisco burger, which is on, you know, some sort of bread. I can't remember, sourdough bread maybe. And a burger and uh, white cheese, uh, tomato, and bacon. And I always have them really crispy, my bacon. And I got curly fries and barbecue sauce. So, these are my favorite sandwiches from there. They are so good. Anyway, I had a really hard time falling asleep last night. So, I didn't um, sleep real well. Put this up here. Um, so, I got up. I woke up at 7.45 this morning. My, doc, my psychologist appointment was at 9. I thought, I'm going to play a quick game. I looked down, and it was 8.30. I'd been playing that game. And I thought, oh, shit. I got a half an hour to get there. I'm not dressed. I'm not washed up. Nothing. I wanted to take a shower. I wanted to put makeup on. So I quit. Washed my face and my butt. <laughs> Got dressed, brushed my teeth, and run out the door. And got there in plenty of time. And then he kept me waiting for 20 minutes. Which pissed me off because a psychologist, I, you know he didn't have an appointment before then. You just know he didn't. Anyway, he asked me a ton of questions. I was there almost, well, two and a half hours. But... He kept me waiting for 20 minutes, so an hour and 40 minutes. No, two hours and 10 minutes. But he asked me all kinds of questions about my family, about my, <clears throat> my birth, about, and which I don't know any of that stuff because I'm adopted. So I couldn't tell him anything. He wanted to know if anything unusual happened during my birth, if my mother smoked during my pregnancy, her pregnancy, um, what kind of childhood I had, um, was I abused, which it was yes, yes, and yes, uh, sexually, emotionally, and physically. I've been all three. So um, he wanted to know a little bit more about that. He wanted to know... Um, oh, I've got a lot of things about my sadness, about my irritability, about how I sleep, how I, um, what makes me sad, what makes me anxious because I've been so anxious too lately, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, we talked for about an hour and a half. You know, he just kept asking questions, so it was easy to answer those questions. It was I thought he'd just have me talk, which thank God he didn't, because he led me into these answers, you know. I mean, not, you know what I mean. He he would ask a question, so I would answer it truthfully. And he says, are you afraid to answer anything? Are you, is there anything you don't want to talk about? And I said, no. I said, I am an open book. You can ask me anything. He wanted to know about my drug use, and I told him that I was into pretty heavy drugs when I was younger. Nothing with a needle or anything like that, but marijuana and, which isn't a heavy drug, but you know what I mean. Speed, um, tried LSD a few times, stuff like that. I told him all that. He wanted to know if I'd ever been in trouble with the law. I told him that. Um, I told him the whole story. Stuff like that. Uh... I forget to eat when I'm talking. He 
here. Oh, wait, we talked for about an hour and a half. Then he put me in another room with a computer and, and a couple of slips of paper. Had me do this questionnaire. There was 344 questions on this questionnaire. Holy shit. On, uh, on the computer. They were questions about drug and alcohol abuse. They were questions about do you feel that people talk behind your back? Do you feel suicidal? Um, do you wish you were dead? Do you wish, you know, stuff like that? Which I don't. I have no, no qualms about saying I am not suicidal whatsoever. I don't wish to be dead. I don't know what there is to live for a lot of times, but I don't wish to be dead. That's put it, that puts it bluntly right there. Um, oh, God, you name it, everything in those questions. It was crazy. And then you add up your scores. And what it means, if, if you only had so many points, you know, you're okay. If you had so many points, you're depressed. If you had so many points, you're um, severely depressed. And I am severely depressed. I had way more points than it said I should have, actually. <laughs> you know, because I answered honestly how I feel. And then the two slips of paper were I also um, stating, you know, whether um, I feel this, I feel this, I feel this. And it was all extremely, is what I answered. Do you feel alone? Do you feel... Are you an introvert? Are you... Um, do you have friends? Stuff like that. Were in these questionnaires. And that one was uh, extremely high also. But I don't know what that one meant. It didn't say. So anyway, that went my psychologist. I have another appointment on the 4th at 3 p.m. 2 p.m. And that is testing. So he'll be testing me. I don't know what that means, but it's at least two hours long that day. <clears throat> so then when I left there, after I was done with the questionnaire, I left right away. Um. That's good. Hmm. Went to the Dollar Tree. Because it's right kitty corner, kind of. Talking to Lulu last night about my hair, what I told you about. She told me to get clarifying shampoo. They had it. So I got that in the conditioner because I have to have conditioner for my hair. But we're having an upcoming Ladies Who Collab collab about um, a $15 haul at Dollar Tree. So I did, I spent $14.91. Does that count? <laughs> but I found some more coloring books. And I needed a car charger. Only it cost me two dollars because you have to buy the thing that goes into the cigarette lighter and then you have to buy a US port. <laughs> but it worked. Because my phone died. And I had a had one of those deals, but it was a piece of crap since I bought it. And I bought it. It wasn't a Dollar Tree one either. So anyway, um that worked. I was happy about that. So then when I left there I thought I'm gonna grab a Frisco burger. This cost me 12 bucks. This and my pop. Isn't that awful? That is so awful for fast food. It cost me almost as much as I spent at the Dollar Tree. But I will be filming that that Dollar Tree here in the next couple of days. And then when I was in there, when my phone died, I got a phone call from I don't know who at um, the truck stop 
that wants to do a phone interview with me and I have a feeling it's the D district manager the one that I was supposed to meet with Thursday so I'm sure that I'll just do the phone interview today which is fine with me I'll do that and this is just an in case of you know doing all this to get ready for you know perhaps getting this job it's an in case of deal in case I don't get the one at the college because I really I kind of want that job um, I just I'm so torn about them you know I really need to to I know I, we've talked about this and we kind of everybody's kind of pushing for the for the college one and that's the one that I kind of like because there's so many cons with the truck stop one. I mean, who wants to clean a shower after a trucker's been in there? Because after every shower, I have to, or I or somebody else has to go in and clean the showers. You know what some of those guys do in those showers? Really? I don't want to clean that up. That is disgusting. And I'm sure that not all of them do that. I'm sure that very few of them do that. But I know I know for a fact that they do because I dated one. <laughs> Come here. Come here. You jumped up here. Come here. There's my boy. There's my boy. Aren't you? Are you mommy's boy? He likes it when he can be held at his his choice, but holding him like this, he wants to get away so bad. <laughs> he wants it to be his decision, don't you? Yeah. You want it to be your decision? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Brat. Now he's going to go lay down. Try to get him in more videos. Nobody likes to see him. So this isn't going to be a hugely long video. It's already been 15 minutes. Can you believe it? it takes me forever to eat. So the finish this, it'd be way more than half an hour. So I got an unemployment check this morning. Or money put on my card, because they, they have a, like a ATM card, debit card. So I paid some on my rent. Not everything. I still have about $125 left to pay, but hey, that shows that I'm willing to pay it. Um, and then, goddamn, post office, I got a package, and they left me a note, you know, on my door. It'll be delivered the next business day. That pisses me off Leave so Leave the dang package. Makes me mad. I wish I had... A box out there that even it, it can't have a lock on it because they wouldn't be able to put the packages in it but something to put packages in or whatever I wish I had a box you know so it's not sitting outside for people to see but then they they'd see the box and they'd wonder what the heck that box was you know what I mean but I don't think people would come right up to my door and look inside to see what's in my box. I do think, probably, excuse me, that once, if I get one of these jobs, I will be, my first check will go to another post office box, though. Because I don't, I, I kind of like getting my mail here every day, so I don't have to go to the post office, but I don't feel comfortable with them leaving packages here if I'm not home.
which I have been home except for today, you know, so it, it really, I don't know. But I have an appointment with my coordinator, my nurse coordinator tomorrow. And then the rest of the week is pretty free. Ooh, unless I have the interview, but I can't imagine. I'm thinking this is the district manager that I've been meeting with today. I have to call her when I'm done eating. I fall already. Did your base sandwiches? It didn't take long for me to get full. That's okay then. I have supper too. He also wanted to know about my appetite. Is my appetite less or more? My appetite. Shit. My appetite is my favorite shirt. Damn it. My appetite isn't, it's different. I'm hungry all the time. Not really all the time. Okay, the way it is, I'm hungry an hour after I'm done eating. In an hour, I'm full. In an hour, I'll be wanting to eat again. And I'm getting to wait. Look at this. So anyway, guys, I will try that clarifying shampoo and see what that does. And, uh, you know, my hair doesn't look too bad today. Except for it needs to be colored really bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that the next couple of days. But he's having a bath. I couldn't believe that. I, I was going to play one game. And I kept thinking, I'll play one more. It was Candy Crush. Jelly, Jelly, Candy Crush, whatever that is. And, sorry. Um, I wasted 45 minutes. I couldn't believe it. At least it wasn't something that I had to look really pretty for. <laughs> It was just a doctor. Have you ever noticed, if any of you have been to counselors or psychi psychologists or psychiatrists, their hands are always so white, like they've never seen the sun? Have you ever noticed and that? I will see you very soon. I'm sure I'll be doing another one of these very soon. <laughs> I'm just tossing them in now and then, you know. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. And I will let you know if there's any new news. Bye.